Okay, while they are finishing setting up, let me explain the rules. There are rules. So, there are no five minute rules here. Everything is just one minute. For the presenters, um, so I'm, the, I'm moderating this session. It's a quick fire round. Each of the presenters of posters and demos, have they have one minute, one minute only, uh, to present their work. They can just present themselves, whatever they want. The aim is that they convince you to visit them, to get spark your interest. Um, we did this, I think, in 2015. It worked well. I hope it does the same today. Uh, for the presenters, I will be timing you. When my clock starts beeping, you have to stop. I will be strict and fair. By strict, I mean I will really stop you. By fair, I mean I will stop everyone, okay? Yes. Um, so, but we begin with, uh, with the video recorded presentation, which is exactly one minute. Um, it's from a presenter from Ukraine who couldn't attend. So um, we will present, we will first play this presentation. And then for all the others, you have to find your presentation here, the number. So be prepared to then jump in. So the number two, three, four. Who, if you haven't sent your s slide, you are down here. So I will be calling after with we've done with the all the 20, I will be calling the remaining presenters to come here and present without the slide. Okay, so we know the rules of the game. So now let's begin with the first presentation. My name is Vasil Starko, and it is my pleasure to present to you the RTU Dictionary Portal. Here we have made accessible via full text search Russian-Ukrainian dictionaries that were banned under the Soviets. They give users unique access to rich Ukrainian lexis that is hard to find elsewhere and help them overcome the harmful effects of the Russification policy. Selected modern dictionaries are also included in the database, while a number of dictionaries are available for download. On our portal, users can have their Ukrainian texts checked for errors, explore a large morphological dictionary of Ukrainian with more than 400,000 entries, interact on the forum, and contribute to the folk dictionary. With over 2.4 million queries processed per year, RTU is one of the most popular Ukrainian dictionary portals, and we plan to keep it growing. And that is one minute. Okay, thank you. This is the sound, yes. <laughs> You will get the mic, yes. Um. Yes, words. You have to convince them with words, otherwise, come on, come on. I have extra time now. <laughs> okay, so uh, we were working on Buddhist Sanskrit, which is um, a very complex text with a lot of abstract words. We tried to develop methods for word sense induction, so how to group um, sentences with different lemmas based on their senses. So in cre dictionary creation, it's really labor-intensive process. So we need automated methods, and we were developing methods with uh, transformer model training, binary classification, and then graph-based clustering, a novel method, and we also present a novel data set. So it's a very interesting task and a very interesting language. Come and see us at the poster session. And she didn't even use the whole minute. Uh, okay. Um
Hello, everyone. I'm Tanara. I'm speaking on behalf of a big group of people, as you can see. And I want to invite you all to our demo and uh, have you try a little bit of uh, our game, which is uh, a game for annotating corporate for language learning and lexicography. So if you were at Carol's talk yesterday, she mentioned including crowdsourcing in the lexicographic process. This is uh, our purpose with the game. Uh, we have included English, especially for this um, session, so please come, okay, there will be English, and please be aware that it is a beta version, so it's uh, still a work in progress, but we would very much be happy to hear your feedback on that, so we would love to have you contribute to our work. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Um, so what will you see if you come to this poster? Uh, this is a collaboration between my colleague Jelena Parizoska and Kristina Kocian, and I'm Ivana. So we conducted uh, a corpus study in Croatian uh, Web Corpus Hrvak using uh, queries, CQL queries in Sketch Engine in order to create the initial list of uh, Croatian idiomatic expressions similes. So then we described linguistic features of these similes in order to create a rule-based grammar in the tool Nuj. So the main goal was to use uh, this grammar for further research, maybe for the automatic uh, identification of uh, similes, because we have a new uh, larger corpus for creation uh, Makoku. And for the lexicographic implementation, please come and see the poster. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see me and my team up here, and uh, we developed a digital resource for German neologisms that we consider to be innovative, interactive, and flexible. Um, it consists of two parts. The first one is the Neo Dictionary, and the second one is what we call the Neo Dashboard. Um, they appear on the same website and are available on the same surface, and together they are the resource that we call Neo 2020 Plus supposed to be a fun space where you can just browse through and uh, find out a lot about new words emerging in German from 2020. Um, yeah, so come and visit me if you are interested. <laughs> Uh, so the title of our research is Novel Slovenian COVID Vocabulary from the Perspective of Naming Possibilities and Word Formation. This is actually a preliminary uh, study for our project Format Combinatorics in Slovenian. Uh, and the analysis of Format Combinatorics is of course also a part of this uh, research. Uh, Slovenian, like other Slavic languages, is characterized by a rich morphemic structure of words, which is the result of multi-stage word formation. Here you can see one example. Uh, the focus of the research is on the analysis of the naming possibilities and of the COVID vocabulary uh, and on word formation analysis. Uh, COVID voc vocabulary may sound as an echo from a distant era, but methodologically I think the research is very interesting and relevant, so you are well welcome to join me and at the poster and learn more about the research and also the project. Thank you. Mr. Meyer? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Peter. And in a joint project with my colleague Gerd Henschel, uh, we would like to present to you an ongoing effort on compiling a dictionary of German loanwords in Polish dialects. 
our main uh, source is the um, Polish, uh, the, the dictionary of Polish um, uh, dialects, which is being compiled by the Polish Academy of Sciences, and it contains rich information on the localization of attested um, word senses and phon phonetic and phonological reflexes, amongst other things, of German loanwords, and we turn that into an interactive cartographic representation uh, that is e easy and fun to use and gives you a visual impression of the astounding diversity of uh, reflexes of German loanwords. So come to see me at uh, our poster. Thank you. Yes. Uh, do we have the authors? Uh, Senia is. Uh, Back to PC conversion. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, we were working on automatization of derivational morphology for Slovenian, and we were working on two tasks. On one hand, we were interested in wor word formation rules. So if you have the word mlad, which is an adjective, and you get the noun mladost, and an adjective mladostan, and mladostnik, and mladostnikov. So you have these chains. And we had an existing uh, resource on letter B with this kind of uh, derivations. We thought that other letters are equally relevant for us. So we developed a method to extract these uh, chains uh, from a large corpus of Slovenian. On the other hand, we worked on morphological segmentation, so we tried to segment the words, then we developed a new NLP method for morpheme sequence tagging using uh, supervised learning. So for more details, please join me on the poster session. Anyone knows the shortcut for full screen here? Or ah, okay. But I need the presenter. No. Next. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> you should have <laughs> not looking at the screen. So let me see. Huh. Uh, let me try. I tried this with my presenter. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Bartosz Ptasznik. I'm from the University of uh, Warmia and Mazur in Austin, Poland. I'm interested in the topic of example sentences in online dictionaries. More specifically, I focus on the impact of uh, multiple corpus examples uh, on language production. Uh, I conducted two empirical studies on Polish learners of English. Um, the aim was to see how well students of English are able to obtain relevant information from supplementary corpus examples in the extra sections of English monolingual learners dictionaries, as well as see how well uh, students are able to use this information in practice. Uh, the subject's task was to translate sentences from Polish into English using the example sentences that they were provided with. Um, in the first empirical study, I incorporated experimental conditions with three and eight corpus examples. And in the second experiment, I incorporated experimental conditions with three, 12, and 15 corpus examples. Uh, these example sentences appeared with either one or two target syntax and collocation patterns of usage. Um, and uh, the last thing that I wanted to say was that I'm looking forward to having a discussion with you uh, about the research findings. Thank you very much. Not 
F5? Okay, thank you. Yeah, my name is Theresa Kruse. I'm presenting the work of me and my colleagues Ulrich Heid and Boris Gilnert. And when you remember your mathematics class at high school, you probably learned that mathematics is a toolbox which algorithms for different purposes. And actually, mathematics is at least also a concept web of different concepts which are in different relations to each other. So you also find this graphic on the poster. And our idea is what we present as a seminar, which we do with, with what we will do with students, where they will build their own dictionaries and hope that they will see mathematics more as a system of concepts and less as a toolbox. So I hope to see you at our poster and I'm looking forward to the discussion. Hello everyone, I'm Natalie Sansen from the Society of Danish Language and Literature. I'm presenting the poster trawling, trawling the corpus for the overlooked lemmas. Um, so I work for the Danish Dictionary, um, which is a corpus-based online dictionary um, and that we update twice a year. Um, however, we are aware that um, when we do the lemma selection, um, it's based on primarily statistical methods, um, but our corpus is mainly newswire, therefore, uh, we all look some of um, the more everyday modern words. Um, so these are difficult to find um, manually because they hide among the mulky, noisy waters of the low frequent lemmas, so um, in the, uh, the low frequent words in the corpus. So we've developed a method with a lot of different scores that score lemmas, um, and thereby we can uh, sort out the good words from the bad. Thank you. Hello, I'm Daichi Yamaguchi from Nagoya University, Japan. This study aimed to automate the process of building a control lexicon. A control lexicon consists of pairs of approved and unapproved words. When it comes to technical writing, such as authoring a manual, writers can consist consistently choose appropriate words using a control lexicon. However, the problem is that the process of control lexicon building is not well formulated nor automated. Here, we employed the concept of the interchangeability of words and proposed methods to obtain pairs of approved and, uh, and unapproved words by utilizing several natural language processing technologies. In particular, we propose a domain-specific context-aware similarity using BART to quantify the interchangeability. If you are interested in the automation of lexicographic work, please come to our poster. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adriane Oreño Tayano from Sao Paulo State University, and the objective of our project is the development of a methodology and enhancements of lexicographical resources for an online platform of academic collocations, dictionaries in Portuguese and English. It's an ongoing f a project. In fact, it's, I mean, we are in its initial phase of the project, so uh, the, w the guys who are in the academic language also, and who like to join us for a talk so that we can discuss, uh, we are working on the definition of academic collocation, so if you want to join us for discuss some ideas and give us uh, suggestions on the project, we'd be very uh, thankful. 
Thank you. Hi, I'm Lutz from uh, Kolman from the Dutch Language Institute and together with uh, Carola Tiberius I will uh, give a demo on the project of word combinations. Uh, it is a reference tool for uh, using and understanding words in context and it is for advanced learners of Dutch and also for native speakers and we use a sketch engine for good X, uh, word sketches and um, we use corpus pattern analysis uh, to detect uh, verb patterns. Um, so we have three search options, uh, the first is example sentences um, and the second one is, uh, are the collo uh, collocations and in the uh, pattern option uh, you can find the patterns and uh, we linked uh, the collocations to slots in uh, the patterns. So if you want to know uh, which collocates uh, fit the pattern, uh, come and join our demo. Thank you. Hello, uh, I am Lauma, I am from Latvia, and I am here to show you uh, Latvian dictionary Tezau Selve. It's a large dictionary, it's more than 300,000 entries. It contains all kinds of uh, interesting information like morphological paradigms, semantic links, glosses, and all kinds of stuff. And so we made a platform for it, and I am going to give a, a demo for that. Thank you. Okay, we've come to the end of the slides. So all that remain are the ones who don't have slides, which are, okay. Hi, I'm here to present um, the results of a series of small scale surveys that we conducted as part of a project aimed at facilitating the creation of digital dictionaries. The surveys are intended for us to have a better understanding of the needs of our target audience, which is lexicographers who have already manually created dictionary data and are now struggling to put these dictionaries in digital form. There are some interesting results, some unexpected results, so please come and see the poster. Thank you. Yes, anyone else? Nobody? Okay, then another applause for our um, brave and punctual presenters. Yes. Uh, um, okay, uh, so this concludes the quick fire round. So you're now more than welcome to uh, have a look at the posters and the demos and talk to our presenters. Thank you.